The facility will be a state-of-the-art, top-of-the-line, futuristic, cutting-edge spaceport in orbit around the moon. This lucky man will operate a tavern on the station, making it the highest watering hole known to mankind. So what are you telling me here? <sighs> There's no money. When you say no money, what exactly do you mean? Uh, good. We're done. Done? How is this done? This isn't done. Uh, look, the funding came up a little short. I was supposed to get a replicant. We got that. What the hell is that? It's got the most advanced cybernetic brain ever conceived. We just, uh, we saved a little on the exterior. Barbara Weasel. Hey, look here. Oh, gosh, Skipper. I don't think we're ever going to get off this island. Spectacular! Not a thousand episodes. Oh, play along, Simon. <laughs> Tonight, we're gonna show you lots of great stuff that we've done here at the bar over the years, and... Ooh, wait, Ron, you're looking very ravishing this evening. Why, thank you, Grot. Oh, and Simon, uh, it's nice to see that you dressed up for the occasion, too. Ah, shut your hole. You put this on me. <clears throat> anyway, tonight's script episode is called Comes the Dawn, starring Michael Ironside, and later, our feature will be Beyond the Stars, starring Martin Sheen, Christian Slater, and Sharon Stone. But first, you know, I'm feeling a little peckish. Well, speaking of peckish, you've certainly stuffed your face with a lot of crap over the last few years, haven't you? Yeah, no kidding, Grot. <sighs> I just want to show, check out my stock portfolio and stuff, okay? Yeah, you think. Idiot. Wow. I think I'm blind. <laughs> Now, what is this castration? <laughs> I'm poisoned. What? <laughs> the bird's exploded. Welcome back to the Space Bar 1000th episode spectacular, everybody. You know, over the years, we've had some really strange, weird, and wacky characters visit the bar. Hey, Simon, uh, who would you say is the strangest, weirdest character to ever come to the bar? You. There you go, Red. You know, that's a lovely shade of a uh, black. Hi there, I'm uh, Drive-In Dick, and this is my friend, Simon. Your friend? Simon? Hey, how's it going, guys? Cool bar. That Hercules is one strong. Um, I got a zombie stalking me, and it's getting very annoying. Santa, behave. Uh, Dan Alton, Dan. Yeah. He has my eyes. Oh, great. The great shell is bonding. Listen, do you want a drink? <laughs> sure. I'd like a slippery nipple. Of course you would. Can I get you anything? A Bloody Mary. <laughs> Kill me. Kill me. Over the years, Space Bar has always gone out of its way to help the less fortunate. We... we have? Mm -hmm. Like... You? No, even less fortunate than me. Seems that he has now an ordinary deck of playing cards. Looks pretty ordinary to me. And now he's manipulating the cards. Oh, okay, uh, blow. There we go. I'm, I'm, I've blown on the cards. And now, oh my God, look at that. 
There's nothing on the cards, ladies and gentlemen, on either side. Come on, let's have a great hand for the great Sambo, everyone. Oh, hey, the entertainment's working. The switchboard is lighting up. <laughs> oh, man, we had some funny times. I gotta tell you, you idiot, this is the lamest crap I've ever seen. Oh, come on, we still got thousands and thousands of clips to go through. Well, that's right. And, well, I programmed this new dress. Well, speaking of lame, what's coming up next? The Antiques Roadshow, perhaps? Funny you should say that, Simon. Hello, and welcome to the Alien Antiques Roadshow. Hello! If you've got an odd transistor, or perhaps a strangely shaped piece of metal lying around in your backyard, and if you've ever thought, could this be an alien artifact? Well, each week on the Roadshow, we try to find out. Oh, uh, yes. We were hoping that maybe this ray gun was of extraterrestrial origin and therefore worth a few quid. Well, there are some fine lines here and some interesting detail. Where did you say you found it? Actually, my sister found it. It's been in her family for many years. Isn't that right, dear? I'm not doing this. Play along. Oh, Lord. Oh, yes, that's right, dearie. It was mine. Oh, I hope it's worth big money. Well, as you can see, there are some exquisite markings here and some detail which distinguishes it from other devices of the period, but unfortunately, it is full-on molded plastic, which means it's probably not extraterrestrial in origin at all. It's probably not even a real ray gun. I suspect it's from Buck Rogers or perhaps even a Star Trek action play set. Approximate value, $3.99. Ah, bugger. Well, that's all the time we have left on this week's Roadshow. Join us next week when we go to Alberta to see some exquisitely mutilated cows. Oh, sick! Hey, guys, we're up. Thank you, Tony. Don't, don't tell us what to do, you slimy know, bastard. Hey, come on, you guys. Calm down, we got a show to do here. You know, Space Bar wouldn't be the fabulous production it is without a top-notch crew. I wish we had one. Without them, you, uh, you wouldn't see us. We wouldn't be lit. Uh, you couldn't hear us. You know, there'd be no uh, snappy editing or uh, special effects. And uh, we just want to applaud them for the great job that they do. So you guys out there should hate them, too. Here's a look at what our crew does to keep Space Bar working. If we don't fix this sound thing, I think I'm going to go crazy. Oh, and what would that look like? Yeah, shut up, Simon. Hey, just a second. David! Dave! Is the thing. Fix the... Oh, no, I, I just I can't work under these conditions. It's more dry ice. Yeah. Do you want the pencil? Yeah. There you go, son. You look like a referee. Check, check. One, one, two, hey, hey. Yeah. Is that any better? Uh, yeah, let me think. Uh, testing, one, two, three. Testing. You got that, Dave? Yeah. Okay. Well, should we back? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Spatial anomaly, ha! Simon, remember that time we showed Alien and uh, that thing kind of popped out of the old bartender's chest? Oh, finally something good. Yeah, I love that guy. Show it, show it. Roll it. <laughs> oh, God. It's the last time I fall asleep in the bean dip. Service, can I get some service over here? Bartender. You killed the bartender. Oh, yeah, we'll take a look at him. He was an accident waiting to happen. How the hell did I get stuck in this hole? Look at this place. I gotta get myself a better agent. Of all the intestinal tracts in the entire universe I could have popped out of, I had to pop out of this guy's. I was sharing space with a supersized fries and a giant shake. Oh, my God, it stinks like hell in here. Don't you guys have, like, a space-age air wick? What the hell are you looking at? Like, I need attitude from you. Nice robot. Who built you, Fred Sanford? By the way, is anyone ever gonna remove this guy? Because he's starting to get gamey. Look at this place. You guys actually get away with putting this on the air every week? You're braver than I thought. Who watches this show anyways? The hell's it called? Space Bar? Oh, what a brilliant concept. What kind of losers sit at home and watch this program? There's like 700 channels to choose from, and they stop on this? Welcome back to the Space Bar 1000th episode spectacular, everybody. Uh, how are we enjoying it so far? I'm having a great time, Grot. Simon? You really want to ask me that question? Uh, scratch that. <laughs> anyway, it's time for tonight's feature, and hey, tonight's a good one. 
starring a whole bunch of Hollywood big shots like Martin Sheen. Ooh, I'd vote for him. Yeah, Christian Slater. Mm, dreamy. And Sharon Stone. Does she show a titty? It's called Beyond the Stars, and hey, stick around because we've got lots more memories from Space Bar episodes past. Stay tuned. Man, the acting in this sucks. Oh, come on, there's some big Hollywood actors there, you know, Martin Sheen and all. Uh, they spend a lot of time and money to uh, improve their talent. I mean, acting's hard work, isn't it, Waitrose? Oh, yeah, sure, if you're Sharon Stone, but, you know, for you and me, it's like falling off a log. Arr, I'm going a pirate in her. Are <laughs> uh, you gonna go on an empty stomach? Oh, of course not. One grog to go. Arr, arr. So, pushy. Would you like to see under my kilt? Leave oh. <coughs> the revolution. <laughs> All right, Brad, I can't take it anymore. Get over here. <sighs> Oh, brave new world that has such people in it. I love going al fresco, my penny. Right. I scrub, but none may see. My face disfigured. It was all you, wasn't it? Maybe. Yo, know, Maggie, I can't see too good. Cut me. Come and make you got oh my. Well, hello there, neighbor. I told you I'm not doing it. I'm a roughneck. Head case more like it. Uh, we're gonna drill. Take your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. Get thee to a nunnery. Why wouldst thou be a breeder of sinners? What a noble mind is here, all throne. Uh, Mr. Sean Connery. You really love doing that voice, don't you? I do, pussy. <sighs>